Kern Force to serve. First set. Quiet, please. Thank you. Play. Love 15. So first blood to Jimmy Connors playing his 16th Wimbledon. And the server, Kurt Pomfors of Sweden playing his second. Love 15. And Love 30. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Beautiful backhand. Thirty, forty. A very strongly and well-timed backhand from Connors earns him a break point. Net. First service. Deuce. The server doesn't uh, seem to be very stiff from his three hour, 25 minute match yesterday when he beat Tim Mayer, the number 10 seed. Both players, and it looks as though Connors has made the winner there. But Prone Force so quick whips Advantage that forehand down the line. Connors won the toss and elected to receive, and it may be that uh, that ploy will work. He's at a break point. <laughs> Net. 
Next. First service. Oh, that's a beautiful high volley. What a glorious shot. Penforce decides right, to come into the net here. Forward. It's a good return, low over the net, but look at the angle. Terrific shot by Pernforsch. Game Pernforsch. First game. So the opening game, six minutes, and Pernforsch, a man who's had uh, already in his three matches to reach this stage, two tremendous uh, five setters. In the first round, he beat uh, Bob Seguro, 10 8 in the fifth. Then uh, he beat Stain of South Africa in three fairly easy sets. And then, of course, this match yesterday, 7 5 in the fifth, lasted three hours, just short of three and a half hours. But I must say, he's uh, opened up very loosely. Just asking uh, Richard Kaufman of the United States Empire. What's he asking for, I wonder? What might that be, Mark? Asking so early in I the really day. don't know. He's delving into his bag for something. So obviously something fairly small, I suspect. Uh, maybe it's a spray or something like that to, uh, to help the stiffness. Which he must have some stiffness from that uh, Titanic struggle yesterday. And judging by the Time. first game, we, it's going to be another Titanic struggle this afternoon. Quite a different style of match though. Clearly it's going to be played very much more from the back of the court and the rallies are going to be longer. Far more perhaps of a physical ordeal. Always likes to bounce on his toes and it's now Connors with his opening service game. Fifteen love. First time they've ever met on grass. A couple of times before. Connors has won both. Thirty love. Love. Never ceases to amaze me the control of the trajectory that uh, Connors has with these fairly flattish strokes. Never more than a few inches above the top of the net when he's driving. Ah. Ah. 40, 15. One game all. So good opening service game for Connors, winning that to uh, to 15.
Love well, 15. to the deep to the forehand, creates the opening, and Pernfors slips. Unfortunately for him, there's too much court for Connors to get that ball away. That's a big service. 15 all. First service. Thirty fifteen. Ace number two. Forty thirty. Fours leads two games to one, first set. They've been in progress just 14 minutes, and it's Pernforce leading two games to one in the first set. Now, here's Jimmy Connors playing his 16th Wimbledon. And that uh, Vitos, aged 34, seeded seven, world ranking seven. Time. US Open, he's won it uh, five times. The Australian Open won it once, and Wimbledon twice. Never won the French. And this is how he got through. He beat uh, Davis, 6-1-7-6-7-6. Britain's Shaw, 6-2-2-6-6-3-6-4. And dropped another set to Kelly Evenden of New Zealand. So dropped two sets in three matches. Quiet, please. Thank you. So Connor serving. And the sun's just gone in for the first time today. 1-2. Fifteen love. Net for service.
15 all. We'll see Connors in this match uh, ever ready to take the short ball in stride going forward, playing the approach shot. Although, last couple of years, he's been a little uneasy about his forehand approach, especially off the very low ball. <coughs> 30 off. the one. Thirty, forty. It may well be that uh, Pernforch will feed that shot to uh, the Connors forehand, the half-court ball, keeping low with backspin. So it's a break point. leads three games to one. So the golden rule here, break back immediately if you can. Love 15. Fifteen on. Ball oh, keeping very low. And whipped up top spin on that uh, two-hander, just pulling the ball down quickly enough.
30 all. Three one, thirty all. First set in this fourth round match. Forty, thirty. Yep. For service. Game room four. Room four's leads four games to one, first set. Here we are with uh, Michael Penforsch leading by four games to one. Extraordinary uh, performance he's had. And there are the details. He's 23. He's not seeded. World ranking 20. French Open runner-up in 1986 in Wimbledon. This is his second Wimbledon up to the fourth round last year. First time when he played last year, he uh, was his first grass court tournament. And he beat Bob Seguso 10-8 in the fifth set. Time. And seen in South Africa in three straight. And then Tim Mayot yesterday seeded number Seeds 10, quickly, seven, please, five, ladies and gentlemen. in the fifth three-hour, 25-minute match. And today he's moving about like a man uh, who's really just had a few sprint matches. Remarkable testimony to his fitness. And in mid, uh, mid-May, he had to go back to Sweden for treatment to an injured knee. But he's absolutely okay now. And it's uh, Number seven seed, Jimmy Connor serving one four down in the first set. Oh, oh my God, what a rascal. What a shot. Well, Panforge has an exceptionally good forehand, and no matter how well Connors is hitting that shot, that approach shot, that forehand was absolutely superb. One of the great shots of the game. Thirty. Remarkable how he came to uh, Paris last year and surprised everybody by getting to the final before losing to uh, Lindel. leads five games to one. Virginia, 34 years of age, and uh, as one approaches the middle 30s, one is a bit slow starting.
15 low. Accuracy rather, par, rather than par, one at uh, third ace. Chark was on the other side. Well, the Swede wonders. I saw Chark, but I think it was on the service line, not on the service line. Service line. I mean, it's right on the middle line. It had nothing to do with the, that cross line. It wasn't even close to the cross line. It was near to the corner there. It wasn't even close to the cross line. Well, an interesting here. The, let's see where the ball bounces, because I think it bounces well short of this, this. No, well, it's very difficult to say. It certainly was an awful lot of chalk there. So three set points. Well, an interesting set. That set, Pernforce almost playing an errorless set and quite clearly posing enormous problems for Jimmy Connors, who really cannot play the game that he wants to play. Jimmy Connors, I think, came out in this match wanting to move Pernforce from side to side using the full width of the court, but has been unable to do so. So Jimmy Connors has really now got to work out what he's going to try to do on this court. And I think Time. that he's going to have difficulty trading shots with Pernforce because Pernforce has definitely got the upper hand. Somehow he's got to get himself into the net to be more decisive. Second set, Connors to serve. So this first game is absolutely crucial for Jimmy Connors. He really needs to start off with this one game ahead. relishing the uh, mixture from the other end of the court, a heavy sliced backhand, sometimes a topped backhand, and a forehand at top. So he's getting different uh, height of bounces to deal with. 
Ned. For service. Connor's very much the attacker in that rally, and his opponent very uh, resolute defence. Do you know, I don't think he really made up his mind as he went to that drop shot whether to play a return drop shot or an approach backhand. Well, it was so well disguised, he didn't really expect it coming in the first place, Dan, I don't, don't think. First game, second set, first set, Pern Fours. Well, three consecutive service games lost, in fact, six games in a row by Jimmy Connors, and he now is up against an opponent who really is playing a tactically much sounder game. Jimmy Connors, I, I know he knows how he wants to play this man, but he, at this stage he's just making far too many mistakes. His opponent is is ruthless on his forehand side but extremely cunning on the backhand side he normally likes to play two hands on the backhand but he sacrificed that many of his backhand shots to play a heavily sliced ball which is bouncing three-quarter court and forcing jimmy connors to move forward and taking a low ball and consequently the errors are creeping in from jimmy connors time i'm just thinking mark and there another Another player who is not ranked in the first 10 in Sweden and uh, feeling he wasn't being recognized sufficiently in his home country, eventually went to America, went to university and has come through college and university tennis there, one of the hardest uh, schools in the game. And we are now seeing the result of it. One love, second set.
15 love. Thirty love. Forty love. Reach number four. Game burn for us. Burn for us leads two games to love. Well, I don't think there's any question that uh, Jimmy Connors now, with all his experience, has got to uh, dig down into his tactical thinking and find a way of playing uh, this match. He's inevitably going to lose this if he plays this uh, normal way that he plays. Yes, he's in. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Fifteen. Connors has had the luxury in this game of two unforced errors from uh, his Swedish opponent. Net. For service. Game Connor. <laughs> Fern Force leads two games to one, second set. First set, Fern Force. Well, Mark, that's the uh, first time that Connors has had really anything like uh, a few gift points. Yes, there were just, there were in fact three points rather given to him in that last game, but they were, didn't miss by very much uh, at all. Uh, up until this stage, Pern Forsch had, had been deadly accurate with his ground shot, so it was inevitable at some stage a few mistakes were going to creep in, but it's hard to see how Jimmy Connors is actually going to uh, handle the consistency of Pern Forsch. I think, I personally feel that he has to be a little bit more aggressive. He's got to get into the net and, uh, and provide a greater variety of shot, perhaps move Pernforce more from one side to the other. He does naturally, Pernforce like to use two hands on the backhand side, so the slice serve is uh, from Jimmy Connors in the uh, advantage court would be a useful shot to employ to take, take Pernforce out wide on that side. But I think from Connors' point of view, he's got to come to terms with the fact that if he's going to win this match, he's going to have to work very, very hard indeed. 
It's been a tough tournament already for him. He's played some 105 games, but his opponent, 132 games. So he's uh, had to work just that good deal harder, but one feels his game is coming into shape, Pernforce. 2-1. Fifteen love. Next. First service. Connors has a good chance here to make a, a good approach shot, but this shot, it was quite clearly going out, but Connors obviously felt it was necessary to be absolutely certain, and he put it away well from the double-handed backhand side, which is, of course, he's very confident on the two hands. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. You can see where the symbols of the uh, crowd lie. Cheering two arrows from uh, Van Forsch. Fifteen forty. Thirty forty. Having a little trouble with a sweaty hand, I think, uh, Connors here. So 2-1 deuce, second set. Game 
Catherine Thorns. Catherine Thorns leads three games to one. Oh, this is the last point. Look at the disguise there. Connors was moving towards the backhand. He was forced to move for the drop volley. Remarkably, he got it up. But, of course, uh, he was so far out of court. No way to play the next shot. So the score, 1-3. is waiting 15. for the shot to get into the net. He gets the approach shot. It's a good one, but look what Pernforsch produces. A miraculous cross-court backhand. all the time now trying to get into the net playing Love playing three. for the lines and get, getting close to the lines makes his approach shots a bit short but Pernforsch flattens that ball out and rockets it cross court two different two different types of passing shot one a slice and one lifted lovely play <laughs> Fifteen thirty. Oh no. Fifteen forty. Well, he won't get many more chances or easier chances than that to produce a winner. Really badly missed time ball. Correction, first serve. Leads four games to one, second set, 
First set, turn fours. So another excellent game from Pernforsch. Absolutely rock solid he is. This is the last point. Serve to the forehand side. There's the whipped topspin. A bit short. Connor's concentrating on the forehand. Look how high that ball is going over the net and how short it is. But it's not. Connor's just doesn't have quite the confidence to get into the net except on that one. But this is the lob. He could have taken it on the smash. Thought it was going to be out. In fact, when it bounced, it looked as though it was out. But it was called in. An error of judgment there by Jimmy Connors on that crucial game point. Time. So Jimmy Connors, two service breaks down now and all kinds of problems. It's almost as though he's back a few years playing his arch enemy Bjorn Borg. This man playing for certainly has the the ground strokes the equivalent of that great player. So it's Pone Forsch now to serve. 4 1. That <laughs> 15 love. Thirty love. A loose one. Thirty fifteen. Game turn four. Turn fours leads five games to one. So Jimmy Connors, one five down, serving to stay in the second set. Last of the homebred Americans in the uh, championship.
Yes. Well, in this rally, Pern Force plays a 15. remarkable shot right there. Look how high it is over the net, how short it bounces. A difficult one for Connors to handle because he's so far out of court. And Pern Force uses that court that has been opened up with his backhand. <laughs> Love 30. Love, 40. So three, three break points for, uh, three set points for Pernforce to take a two sets to love lead. Game, second set, Pernforce. Six games to one. Kern Force leads two sets to love. And I think many people will be surprised to see this score, 6 1 6 1. Jimmy Connor's not uh, finding any form at all against a man who really has made an astonishingly uh, few errors. But it's a, case, it's a case of a man who hasn't got a big serve, who hasn't got a really outstanding ground stroke today and it seems can't put against this man Pernforce can't Cottles can't put a sequence of shots together to win the point one would have thought that he might have uh, chanced his arm when it looked certain that he was on the wrong tactical game he might have chanced his arm by taking some of the half court balls and going in though not the most rampant volume time I'm a bit surprised Mark well, yes, Dan, but he, he has been into the net on occasions, and there was one Seats quickly, game please, in the middle of that uh, second set where he came in on good approach shots and was subjected to the most remarkable passing shots. But I think on the serve particularly, he's got to game, uh, he's got to take his chances a little bit by serving and, and volleying occasionally, if only set, just to alter the perception serve. of the return Why, for Pernforce, just to pose the question mark in his mind. But it's Pernforce now to open this third set. Love 15. Now the crowd so anxious to uh, lift Connors, and that was a lovely approach shot with the uh, volley comparatively easy. And as Burnforce serves, they've been on court exactly one hour. Net. For service. Fifteen off. Ace number five. Thirty fifteen. Very really surprising. This when you think that uh, he's playing, the uh, server is playing against a man who, uh, for years, has been regarded as perhaps the best returner of service in the game since Ken Rosal.
40, 15. Game turn four. First game, third set. Turn four is by two sets to love. Well, Jimmy Connors, I think, is uh, has got to try to be on the in the early stages now of this uh, of, of any rally. He's got to try and develop some groove in the shot, some rhythm, some timing. He's just making too many errors particularly on the forehand side. He, of course, is his temperament is such that he always likes to go for the ball. He always sees himself as winning the point at the earliest possible moment. But uh, he just, there are just too many errors coming from his racket at the moment. So a de degree of patience, I think, is definitely required. And also then to select the right shot to come into the net because somehow he's got to win the point. He's not going to... I don't think it uh, solicit too many errors from his opponent, certainly judging by the way the first two sets have gone. Time. The number of errors that Pernforsch has made have been uh, just a few. So somehow a degree of patience, but at the same time he's got to, he's got to be assertive when the opportunity presents itself. So lap one, third set. Some really beautiful play from this man. He drops it from the baseline, always very difficult, but a glorious drop shot. Then, of course, moves in and volleys past the uh, sputtering sort of volleyer. Lovely play. Connors years ago used to do that very well himself. attempting here and there to force the pace but his ground strokes don't carry that weight of shot that they used to Net. first service Fifteen thirty. Uh, when a player is hot, they're hot. And uh, the approach shot, again, is not a bad one, but look at this top spin lob. <laughs> right on the line, 
Even Jimmy Connors couldn't get get up to it. There's a beautiful approach. Advantage Connors. So that was the 17th stroke of the rally and went for a winner, or at least a very strong approach shot, and it really was beautifully played. three times in that rally where uh, Connors advanced to the shortish ball, looked as though he was going to come in and changed his mind and sort of went back to the baseline. Deuce. Stunning play by Pernforsch. Moving beautifully, positions himself superbly. Look how high that ball goes over the net with so much topspin. It's almost like a table tennis shot. And this is uh, the little drop shot, absolutely dead. John, Jimmy Connors almost out of the picture. Superb play.
Front Force leads two games to love. Jim Funnels playing against a man here who is relentless in terms of match play, giving so few um, points away. Only one or two really loose errors and covering the court amazingly well when you think that he had that three hour Quiet, match yesterday. And Thank in you. the first round had a hard five setter. Two love, third set. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. The old warrior getting a great hand there. Truly lovely rally that too. Just too much. Forty, thirty. The idea was right there, there was no doubt about that. It was the half court ball and he hit it very truly in the middle of the racket, about an inch too long. Forty thirty. leads three games to love third set by two sets to love Well, Panforsch remarkably keeping in control.
Well, amazing performance by Pernforsch. And he's a small man, five foot eight inches, but he musters a lot of pace on that serve, but his footwork is truly superb. Time positions himself beautifully he has the choice on the backhand side of the of the two hands there the previous one was a single hand and tremendous topspin look how he whips through the wrist comes up over the ball on that forehand it really gives a very heavy topspin shot but always on his toes and there a little drop shot the underspin with two hands that time what a range of shots he has so connor's now Really battling, love three. Ed, for service. First service. Thirty Force manages to get his racket onto that and hoists up the highest lob I think we've seen in 30, the championships. 15. Surprised to Connors that it was going to be in. It's a difficult overhead because it was so deep. And then Pernforce rockets a forehand, getting Connors out of court. In fact, it just pushes it wide, but he was in no position to take the next shot. 30 15. was frowning at the end of this point because he played this rally almost you would think to perfection but Pernforsch moves so quickly and hoists that shot down the line there for a superb win so it's 30 all Yes, a deep ball. Forty, thirty. It's only about the second time in the match that, under severe pressure of length and pace, Home Force has failed to counter-attack with control.
to start the game. Connery. Jimmy Connors really is wrestling to get a firm grip on the racket there. It's such a humid day. The moisture comes down the forearm into the palm of the racket hand, and just a little bit of movement can create the error. He plays at such fine margins. Advantage print for Well, Connors is really barely staying in this game by the, the grace of all good luck there. A net cord, and he's hit several other shots right on the baseline. Good call. Advantage Connors. Very good call. Quite a bit of dust came up behind the line. So break point for the third time. Three one, Deuce, third set. Burn for us. Oh, that's a marvelous play. Turn force leads four games to one, third set by two sets to love.
So a glimmer of a chance there for Jimmy Connors. He had two break points in that game, 15-40. In one sense, the, there was a bare inkling of a chance of him coming back, but his opponent, Pernforsch, was absolutely relentless with his passing shots and, and his game. And the centre court now is absolutely jammed, and there's no question about it that uh, there is a sense of, of doom for Jimmy Connors, something momentous is going to happen. All the press seats there, the world's press, it's absolutely chock-a-block, no seats available at all. And the photographers of the world, I think, are ready Time. to take the moment when the great champion looks very much like as though he's going to be ousted from this tournament in rather humiliating fashion by this Swedish player who is almost like an automaton on the court. So it's almost a question of how many games can Jimmy Connors salvage in this match. It's 1-4 in the third set. Thirty loud. Correction. Ball's good. Replay the point. An overall from the chair. Richard Coughlin, the American umpire, says replay the point. Forty love. Oh no. Forest leads four games to two. So Connors wins a love game on the serve there, and he has another chance to break the serve. Remember, in the uh, last service game with his opponent, he had three break points and failed to make it. So 4 2, third set.
love 15. for service. Yes. Jim Connors really now with love concentration perfectly honed, makes the approach shot and comes in and plays the backhand into the open court. So that's We didn't hear what happened down there, but he looks pretty angry. Quiet, please. A 40. A 40 on a 4 2, that's it. Well done. Fours leads four games to three, third set by two sets to love. Well, this was he was wrong footed there, Jimmy Connors, and in comes, and now the target is presented for Connors, and he makes the passing shot down the line. He always likes the target, and he got it on that occasion. And this is from Connors's point of view watching the ball like an eagle. He slips, but he manages to regroup himself and. Pernforch is now into the net. The passing shot is ready for him, and it's beautifully played down the line to give Connors the first break of serve that he's had in the match. Mark, I couldn't help thinking when he made that lovely uh, challenge at the net and brought off his brilliant cross-court volley, one felt if only he'd done Time. that a bit earlier in the match. Yes, but it's interesting to, I think, Dan, that in this third set, he really has a, is applying himself far better than he has done in the, in the first two matches. Concentration is there. <laughs> now somehow Jimmy Connors has got to hang on to his own serve. Score, three, four. Nine points in a row for Connors. Oh. 
for service. Jimmy Connors maintained the pace in this rally. This is one of the hardest hitting rallies that we've had in the entire match. 40 low. And then suddenly he throws in that little drop shot, the likes of which Pernforsch has been doing to him, completely to turn the balance in his favor in that point. So it gives him now 40 love. 40 love and his 11th uh, point in a row. games all. So we're seeing a truly gutsy performance here by the uh, twice wounded and champion Jimmy Connors. It's been a trademark of his always that he'll give 110 performance every time he goes on the court and we're seeing it right now and that's quite remarkable at this stage after an hour and three quarters of play he's produced three love games for all. Quick to get in the room at Jimmy Connors when he sees the volley, high Love ball, 30. he comes in but doesn't get it away. A little bit surprising. And still doesn't get the ball away, but he jumped up to that well. So Love 30, 14 points in a row to Connors. It was an amazing run, 14 consecutive points at this stage of the match. So four all, 15-30.
Just out. It's just a little He faded and uh, sliced the ball just a little too much. Second service. Thought that was going to be a double four. We hadn't had one in this entire match. read the drop shot very very well pushed it down the line he really could have got this ball away i think but he pushed it down the middle giving pernforce the opportunity to make the pass relatively easily A very important point that 40 30. leads five games to four third set by two sets to love well mark i thought when he came in for that forehand volley he was going to make it i think he said i thought uh, this man took took that well he was under such pressure he must have been when he lost those 14 consecutive points seeing connor's at his rampant best but he's a tough man this i shall never forget the way he came through that french championship to get to the final uh, last year, a truly, truly hard, magnificent match performance. I wonder, though, Dan, whether uh, the thought crossed his mind at all about his match against Pat uh, Cash in the, in the Davis Cup. He led two sets to love at that stage uh, in the fifth in, in the crucial deciding match, mm. and in fact, subsequently lost in five. But what an effort we've seen from Jimmy Connors. He's giving absolutely everything here. Of course, he's the the greatest competitor, I suppose, in, uh, in time tennis history. And now, of course, is the moment. The real test. Well, Jan Connors now find within himself the resources to take this next game. He's got to if he's going to stay in the championship. It's 4-5. Right, please. Beautiful length. Thirty love. Perfect length on that uh, backhand approach shot.
Oh, well, Prunner's had the chance here, but it was a very high lob, accurately placed. Connors decided not to take it, thought it might be going out, and then really played a very short smash, giving Pernforce the opportunity to get into the net with a good approach in the volley. Thirty fifteen. Games on. And this really is a glorious fighting performance by Connors, 34 years of age, on a stamina sapping day. So, five all in the third set. the overhead positions himself well Love 15. back into the net again and a superb forehand volley and really getting charged up now Jimmy Connors at last, beginning to look a little bit worried. He snatched and hurried at what was a comparatively easy passing shot, or a lob. Seventh phase. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's a beauty. Well, that's... Well, now here is a very good return. Well outside the court. He slips a little bit, gets back into 30, position quickly. 40. Has to go forward and diagonally forward and produces a remarkable shot. And he gives himself that tremendous sort of zip. But that was a truly wonderful backhand. Right, please. Thank you. And he gives him the break point. First service. change. Connors lead six games to five, third set, Pern Forest by two sets to love. Well, the sheer delight of winning that, that break of serve there to give him the lead in this, this third set for the first time. Sheer exhilaration, applying everything that he's got, Jimmy Connors. Well, one, one wonders how this gentleman feels. He was, of course, at one time in this two sets to love up, 4-1 up. The match was virtually his. He played one game there on the Connors serve where he almost didn't have maximum concentration. I think he felt that he was home. But time. one little glimmer of hope is all that Jimmy Connors needs, and then he's in there ready to pounce. And now he looks very dangerous indeed. Mark, talk about compulsive viewing. This, this, this third set has got everybody absolutely in this match. Everyone's taking part here. As Connors prepares to sail for the set, they've been on court exactly two hours. New balls. Fifteen all.
30, 15. So two set points for Connors, and I made that uh, rally a 22 stroke run. Seven games to five. Kern Forest leads two sets to one. Well, Keep your seats, bad. please. Not a changeover. Thank you. Fourth set, Kern well, There's the story serve. of the match, and that last set, a very, very memorable set indeed. Quiet, please. <laughs> Fifteen left. Great ball of Dan Cornfield. First game, fourth set. Turn four is by two sets to one. Well, I think it's interesting to see how well Pernforge composed himself after losing that uh, third set. And he really didn't lose it because of any bad play on his part. It was because Connors definitely lifted his game just that little bit extra. But it was important that very that first game of that fourth set that Pernforce should keep his composure, which he did, so that he can try to get the momentum now in his favor. time. Force is leading by one love in the final set, having won a crisp love game. 
in the fourth set, I beg your pardon. And it's Connors who played a, a marvellous third set there, about to serve. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Second service. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. So Connors didn't like the bounce there. Uh. Uh. There's the serve, the heavy slice serve taking uh, his opponent right outside the doubles line. As a courtesy to players, no speaking during points. It's very distracting. Thank yes. you.
Both right, right, quite right from the chair, and that was a 31 stroke rally. And that's Connor's first ace, and he hasn't served a double fault. In fact, there hasn't been a double fault in the match. Connors just gave him a little bit too much time on that approach shot because he hoisted that love up to perfection. So the score back to Deuce. Advantage burn for. I just wonder, Mark, did he hesitate about playing that? It looked as though it might have gone out. Yes, I think it did, it did go out, but uh, Connors, in fact, was looked at Pernforsch. He just took his eye fractionally off the ball as he hit it. I hardly believe that that one didn't go over. So they're looking at the ball as it stayed on top, almost stayed there on top of the uh, net court. Hard game this, they've had four deuces. Advantage current fours. So this is the fourth break point. Two games to love. I mean, it was rather a tragedy for uh, Connors. A brilliant serve that took his win right out of court, and then he made zero. So that's the break of serve. 
it may well prove to be a decisive game. running from Love side to side. Good shot by Pern Forsch. And look at the angle that Connors finds there. Wonderful. And this is the shot. The piece de resistance, the lovely little lob. From Connors' point of view. Look, completely on the stretch. He checks, he slips. He gets into position, sights the ball, steps into it with a beautiful two-handed little lob. Well, that was a complete mishit of a half-court ball. Connors plays a superb forehand volley, a difficult shot there to have the racket right in front of him. And now he's into a deep smash, not an easy one because Pernforsch is well back behind the baseline and another one. And he decides at this instance to go for the angle which he manages to put away. Three break points. Well, it's this backhand which sets the rally up for Pernforsch. Hit very, very hard, forcing Connors way out of court in an irretrievable position. Fifteen forty. First service.
Deus. Number 42, Deus. Great shot. Okay, well, the short ball there gives Connors the chance to come into the net. His, pass, his approach shot is a bit short, and Pernforce saw Connors coming into and made a lovely pass. There's the slice, the one handed shot, and he sees Connors coming into the net and pushes it down the line with two hands. Advantage Pernforce. Games to love, fourth set by two sets to one. Well, a hard game there for Jimmy Connors to lose because he was love 40. It was a great chance for him to get that break back and bring himself back into the match. But my feeling is that he this fourth set okay. is not really being pay, played at the pace of the third set. And for Connors, I think that's important to maintain the pace. Pernforce, we can see, we can see what sort of diet uh, Pernforce likes to sustain himself on. Past turn one, two. I don't know whether it's a friend in the crowd or what, or one of those bananas. Time. Well, well, the breakfast of champions, I suppose. Jimmy Connors somehow has got to up the tempo of this match, play it at the speed that he wants to play it, without making the errors that uh, he didn't make in the end of that third set. Quiet, but, uh, please. He Thank must you. be feeling a little weary. It's love three. The 
for service. Thirty all. Now three, thirty all. Four set. both players here and this is a very lucky Thirdly, shot really Fordham. clips the top of the net from Pernforce. Connors manages to get it up and so does Pernforce. and this is the incredible thing that the lob went into play rather fortunate I think there for Pernforce. so that gives Pernforce a break point Point there for Connors on the uh, break point. Games to one. Now's the time for Connors to balance up this fourth set. He uh, had his service broken in the second game. A quick break now would uh, be a tremendous help for him, of course. And they've been playing two, uh, two hours and 32 minutes in this fourth round match.
15. Correction, the ball's good. If I step on the outside the line there and the ball comes up, then what? Then what? If the ball is just wide. The ball wasn't even close. I have the line. Now this is the serve. Well, I think it's a very close ball to overrule in favor of the server. It's bad on both sides. The overrule is the worst rule in the game for both sides, all players in the game. The overrule stinks. Well, I think a lot of people agree with Jimmy Connors in that point of view. Well, now, Richard Kaufman is one of the uh, professional umpires. He's an American who knows this game backwards, and he knows that uh, the rule now is about the time. Why, so the score now is 15 all. And it looks as sounds rather as though the crowd may have changed their uh, allegiance. Great cheer for that pass. 30 15. from Pern Forsch and Jimmy Connors waiting for the opportunity to try to get into the net now and it comes right here it's a very short ball short of the service line and he rockets it down the line 30 all Ball driving there by Connors. The accuracy was uh, unbelievable. So it's break point. Connor's really having to work very, very hard in this rally. And the ball is rather short, and he has great difficulty in holding his feet. But how athletic he is. So the score is now Deuce.
advantage, turn fours. <laughs> Three one deuce four set. Put four cold. Fighting both sides of the court, turn force having to move from side to side, and he finishes it off with a superb double handed backhand, almost the trademark of his game that double handed backhand. So, this gives Jimmy Connors his second break point in this game. sets to one. Well, the first double fault of the match there came from Pernforsch and it uh, couldn't have come at a more inappropriate time from his point of view. He led three love in the set one stage and then had another point he had a point on the Connor serve to go for love lost it he's had game points in this game to go to 4-1 and lost it and now one feels that Connors is on a surge again exactly as he did in the third set and we must remember that in the third set Connors was 4-1 down and from that point he took six of the next seven games to take the set at 7-5 and when Connor smells blood, he's very, very difficult Time. to stop. And one feels that he now is starting to smell blood again. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Quiet, please. Thank you. Service call. It's uh, two three. Connors to serve. Connors now could do with a really convincing service game. Well, 
clever little drop shot from Jimmy Connors, which Perm Force remarkably gets. A super lob by Connors, and look at this shot. He plays it between his legs, an effective shot as well, and Connors is stunned but manages to get it over the net. <laughs> 15 love. Well, a real crowd-pleasing rally that was. On the line, 30 line. Three games all. So Connors has come back from love three to three all, and he's just had a run of six consecutive points. Incredible. He's 16th Wimbledon, 34 years of age. How can he possibly keep this up? Thank you. Quiet, please. so hard that I mean there's no possible way you can overrule it and then there's a ball that's hardly moving and you can't call it Lovely touch play comes up here. Fifteen little off. drop shot off the top of the net. A little bit of fortune there for Panforsch, but beautifully played. That's Quiet, one, please. That's one of the most delicate shots I've ever seen. And at this stage of the match, too. all waiting for the opportunity to come into the net he gets it it's a passing shot cross court and full stretch connor's manages 15, to cover 30. it with a forehand volley there's the double-handed backhand approach in full flight as he comes into the net eyes glued to the ball for the winner 15 30.
30 all. Three all, 30 all, four set. Alan Mills, referee with Ken Farrar, one of the supervisors, intently watching this match. Hey! First service. Connors leads four games to three. Fourth set, turn four is by two sets to one. Having come with a run of four games from love three in this fourth set, two breaks of serve, and Connors right in this match. Yes, I think there's a combination of factors here, Dan. There's no question about it that uh, uh, Pernforsch is, is a little bit tentative, but Jimmy Connors is really rising to the occasion. One has to really admire his courage that he's able to, at this stage in the match, he must be beginning to feel a bit jaded because the rallies are long and they're hard, physically wearing mentally wearing yet his desire for, for winning is so intense time I must say Mark it makes nonsense of the uh, theory that you can't get long rallies on the center court at Wimbledon on the grass please thank you so Connors to serve 4-3 in the fourth set but two sets to one down It's an approach drive, he comes in, he 
has an awkward ball there and he plays the most delicate cross court half volley. It takes him to 30 love. Here's another Connors Classic, a half volley under really pressure. Well. It's a good volley, but not deep enough, and he goes in and guides one very carefully down the alley there. 40 love. I'm not sure what's happening here. Sure. Connors leads five games to three. Ball change. Change of balls. So we come first to serve. Quiet please. To stay in this fourth set. Three five. Well, it was a very good move if he'd uh, controlled the drive volley for a pass. Out. Forty, fifteen. Second double four. Hey! For service.
Jeez. So three five deuce four set. Second service. Oh. Advantage, turn four. Great chance for Connors with the ball bouncing around the service line and nearly waist high. Connors leads five games to four, four set. Pern four is by two sets to one. Well, it was uh, his 11th ace, Paul Hudgens, with me here now. Great stuff, this Paul. Well done. I haven't seen very much of it, but what I have seen, and coming into the commentary box instead of Mark, it's a privilege to be here. I can almost cut the atmosphere with a, kni with a knife on coming in. Everybody here is on the edge of their seats, and it's this man, Jimmy Connors, which is bringing the tension. It's his stage today, the centre court. It's the ideal circumstances for Jimmy, coming back from two sets to love down. And yesterday, Pern Force also was in a long five-set match against Tim Mayot. I, like many others on court one, thought he was out of it but he came back and gutsed it out. Time. And on the centre court today, we have two people with as much guts as anyone in the business, Perm Force and Connors. Packed centre court after three hours and two minutes of play in this fourth round. It's Connors to serve, leading 5 4. Four set. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Set points for Connors and make it two set for it. Quiet, please. Thank you. First service.
40, 15. Turn for some tennis to play a half volley after the service, but it's still set point. Sets all. Final set. Turn for us to serve. Why, please? Ladies and gentlemen, quiet, please. Thank you. Football court. And that's the second time that. Uh, He's been footballed. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have thought that was very necessary. in love. All. Well, who would have thought a couple of hours ago that that would be the uh, score when Connors had lost the first two sets 6 1 6 1? Here we are, two sets all after three hours and seven minutes play. That two-handed winner was as smooth a shot as Connors has played in the match. Calm and quiet, but beautifully, beautifully timed. thing here is that Jimmy Connors took his time. He just waited to see what point, which way Pernfors was going to go and nipped it down the line.
Deus. Advantage burn fours. First game, final set. So, uh, Connors had a chance there, two break points that opening game of the final set, but uh, Home Force sticking in well and holding the service game. Paul, who's going to win this match? Will Connors, seeded seven, should reach the last eight. Will he do it? Well, if it hadn't been three hours and 12 minutes, then one would have probably said it would be Jimmy. But uh, I'm sure he's extremely fit. But one does wonder whether he can last maybe another 45 minutes out here. I think that Pernfield Time. showed his strength of character there by losing the fourth set and then being 15-40 down his serve but coming back to win the game. And that shows guts and determination. Everybody in the centre court crowd wanting Jimmy to get to four all, five all and to have a long set here in the fifth. Anyone who writes him off is a fool. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Oh, that's a glorious, glorious over here. And now, he goes in, plays 40 low. down the line, and now have a look at this. It's a round arm smash, it's not the normal throwing of the racket head, a beautifully improvised overhead shot. And it's 40 love.
One game off. I imagine just what Connors wanted, a love service game, and three times he had his opponent going the whole width of the court. Why, please? Thank you. Love 15. This next shot is the trademark of Jimmy Connors. Economical two-handed backhand. Up 30. Number 12. Connors leads two games to one final set. And what a psychological boost that must be for Connors. After three hours and 18 minutes, he's ahead for the first time by only a game, but it's a game and it's a break of service. Tremendous lift for him, Paul. Oh, oh yes, Dan. I, this man is an amazing character. One of the legends of the modern game, as I'm sure has been pointed out already. And he likes to not... I wouldn't say fight everybody, but he likes to talk to the umpire, talk to the linesman. He's really challenging everybody that he is out here on his stage. It's his court. He's been here before. He wants to come back for the crowd. He wants to come back for himself. He's got his left hand in a bucket of ice there. I'm not sh quite sure whether that is to reduce any slight swelling Time. he may feel he has or just to cool his hand down because probably it's very hot and it's sweating on his racket, perhaps slipping on the grip. Burn force significantly in the last game missed, had three, or perhaps it was even four, unforced errors on the backhand. Three unforced errors on his two-handed backhand and one unforced error on his one-handed backhand which could be significant. But Jimmy has break. 2-1 in the fifth set. Love 
15. Well, many players, as soon as they break a string, often run straight to the net. But Jimmy would have five, six, seven rackets, all strung the same tension, all with the same balance. Turn force, he's got to keep his concentration. Well, Jimmy changed his racket. So not exactly at the moment when one hand uh, needs to change the racket. It's love 15. Thirty And some immaculate controlled play off the ground by Connors. That forehand approach shot was real beauty. So 40-15. Three games to one. In the final set, Paul, that's the way to play match tennis when you've broken yourself to underline it yourself with a convincing service game. That's right, the most important game in tennis to hold your serve after you've broken. Jimmy just rubbing his right leg. Not sure whether he's injured it or did a bit of cramp. Probably a little right, bit please. of cramp. After three hours and 24 minutes, it's to be expected. In Jimmy's interest to shorten the rallies. 15 low. But the approach shot wasn't deep enough.
15 all. Suffering from a, a touch of cramp there in the right thigh. leads four games to one final set. Well, it's Bill Norris, the ATP physiotherapist. And Jimmy undoubtedly has got a little bit of cramp on his right thigh. Bill Norris has got some ice spray, some cold spray to rub on the cramped muscle. Now he can ask for a three minute timeout if he so desires. But at this stage in the match, he probably will not want to. Alan Mills just telling Pernforce that Jimmy is just getting some treatment. And Bill Norris in the glasses, the physio, has done this many times before, been out on the court to all the players, knows Jimmy well. Can the Swede, Pernforce, come back 1 4 down in the final set, having won the first two sets 6 1 6 1? So Connor serving 4 1. Love 15. Shot. 15 all. Well, he's a perfect length for Connor's backhand approach. goes across court 
Here comes 15, a net cord, but he doesn't really do enough with it, and he doesn't cover this cross-court shot. So it's 15, 30. leads four games to two so the pressure for the moment of Perrin Force she played very calmly there and so he's got one of the two breaks that he suffered back two four final set Fifteen. Yeah. Thirteen days. Every blade of grass in the 15, confines 30. of the court are being used here. And Jimmy can still stretch flat out on the forehand volley. My word, it's all about guts and determination at this stage of the evening. Fifteen thirty. No. First service. Suddenly, Connors produces a perfectly timed forehand, and the ball simply sped off the grass. Real penetration there. 
and uh, two break points. And it's 7.52, the sun covering the uh, top gallery there of the centre court, but the court itself in complete shade. 15.40. Connors leads, five games to two, final set. Bill Norris, the physiotherapist, giving more treatment to Jimmy, providing he can have the treatment in the 90-second changeover, then legally acceptable. And Jimmy Connors really trying to hype himself up and he's the best at doing that in the business. Interestingly, that on the game point in the last game, Pernforst unusually served and volleyed, which shows Time. I feel he's getting a little bit desperate. He hasn't been serving and volleying at all during the match. But Yesterday, Pernforce came back from two sets down against Mayotte, Mayotte to win 7-5 in the fifth. So he knows what it's like. Quiet, please. Thank you. And Jimmy Connors, new balls, serving for the match at 5-2. Fifth set. Perfectly post, slice serve of Connors. Quiet, please. Thank you. Quiet, please. So three match points for Connors. Try please. Thank you. That's it. Yeah.
Connors wins three sets to two, one six, one six, seven five, six four, six two.